So today guys we take a look at another new weapon to the game and it's called the No Pew Pew. This legendary Sylvia assault rifle is indeed what it states. But is it just another Sylvia assault rifle? Well today I guess we find out. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So the No Pew Pew Sylvia assault rifle drops in well what a surprise incendiary only and is exclusive to the Revenge of the Cartels event. This thing drops from the roaster and the tenderizer upon the Villa Ultraviolet. So this no pew pew is another addition to the CLV assault rifle family, again offering incendiary as its one and only element, which is weird because all of our six legendary assault rifles in the CLV family all come with incendiary, and only one of them offering more. So we have six incendiary only CLV assault rifles right now. Why is that? What is it with CLV and incendiary? But yeah, we have another. This one is a Sith in that family. But what's the point? Are they just going to keep dropping them until they get one perfect? Is that this weapon? Well guys, no. No it ain't. It's far from it actually. In fact the no pew pew isn't much different from the others. But what it does do is it works slightly better because we can now shoot up to a 3 times variant with only still consuming 1 ammo per shot. Anything other than that, it starts consuming more with the 5 times variant on this thing consuming 3 ammo per shot. Also normally come with a smaller magazine size too. The thing about them all though is the fact they all kind of deal around the same damage per shot at around that 10k mark. The 5 times variant being slightly higher. Which is decent considering this thing's fire rate. Now what this is in my opinion is the best of the rest. But it still isn't perfect. Now don't get it twisted. This thing is very very capable of laying down some great great damage. But for me it's just inconsistent and you want to know why? It's because it just marched through the ammo way way too quick. Now if you can take that out of the equation, you have yourself an incredible weapon here guys. A weapon which also works amazingly on my Zane infinite ammo build. Which if you guys missed you'll find links within the video description. You don't have to worry about ammo guys. So weapons like this are incredible over there. But if you don't have the means to stretch out ammo usage, this one I do feel will let you down. Put it this way, I was doing great within the Mayhem 10 slot shaft using this thing until I ran out of ammo just after the first round. So that tells you how quick this thing gets through that ammo. Now it's party trick probably ain't as unique as you might think, as a quest item from the Moxie's Highest to the Handsome Jackpot did the same thing. Are you lost? Well, Amber is an NPC, gave you a mana and SMG for doing her quest line of blowing up statues. The SMG was called the Ember's Purge I do believe and upon you killing an enemy it created a lava pool. This does the exact same thing. To be honest it's a decent addition and it works great against mobs, but is it enough? For me it isn't. I don't feel any besides the Hydro Thrust and the Yellow Cake from the CLV family are that consistent because they all let you down within the way they perform. Yes certain aspects of them are great, like this one and it can be made into something amazing with the right build, but I feel more CLV weapons are exactly that. They require a certain build before we start seeing the best out of them. This CLV assault rifle, the no pew pew, is no different there in my opinion. They are getting better and better, but they are far from perfect. Another major problem is the fact they are also incendiary only. I mean yes against fleshy enemies they die instantly, they perform perfectly. But most things we are now playing against are enemies with all kinds of crazy armor and shields, where this just doesn't do enough damage against them. And it's probably why when playing places like the Slot Shaft, you burn through your ammo so so quickly. So yeah guys, my force on the No Pew Pew is an amazing weapon backed with the right build and makes the light work of most things with Mayhem 10. But depending on the build you are using, that easy work Mayhem 10 becomes, it's just a quick gun due to the lack of ammo reserves. 1400 sounds like a lot, and to be honest, is a lot. But when you got a weapon that has a fire rate of 16 shots per second, and with many times this thing not breaking until you reach probably 150 shots, it just doesn't last long enough. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.